Anyways, hey everybody. Sorry, prayer. Uh, somebody on the forum uh, had some problems with making a, a stable wing for an F-13 replica using the uh, Infernal Robotics mods. And uh, I happen to be working on a, a new replica of the um, SWAT CAT's uh, Turbo Cat, which you can see here. And it has moving wings and they don't move around uh, when I don't want them to. So I uh, thought I'd make a little video on it and show them how I did it. Uh, for Kalti Mew. Uh, first off, I uh, placed the uh, upper wings. And then, um, uh, let's just flip this around. And then you uh, place a uh, rotate on. Uh, how the hell is it called? And let's see, a docking washer standard, which you also used. Uh, slap the wing on top of that. And then you uh, put another uh, docking washer on top of it, but it's a free moving version. On that you put a uh, cubic strut, which you can uh, strut to the uh, rest of the plane. In my case, I put a, another layer of wings on top of it, which I strutted it to. And uh, then you have a double-sided connection, which should mean that it doesn't flop. Or at least uh, very little. Uh, you can probably hear my son in the background, and maybe my wife, but uh, this is just a short video. So, uh. so now we have to move the wings. And if I start the plane up, let's see, no, I don't want to be the army guy. Should fly. And as you can see, there's barely no movement in the wing, except the movement I wanted to have. So try and make it double sided. Do it on both sides and connect the, the uh, both sides to the plane. But if you uh, connect the docking washer itself with struts, it will not work. So you have to use a cubic strut on top of the docking washer to connect it to the other parts of the plane, or else it will uh, bug out and will not work. Okay guys, that uh, was a little how to make a moving uh, wing using Infernal Robotics. And uh, if I helped you uh, guys, uh, give the video a like. If you uh, want to see more, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.